The Fenway Bowl, Virginia against SMU. Virginia is a two and a half point favorite. It's the last ride for one Bronco Mendenhall. Uh, SMU, of course, lost head coach Sonny Dykes, etc. cetera. Uh, when I look at this, I don't know what the motivation is for SMU and for Virginia. Uh, while they do have a lot of guys that are uh, that have entered the transfer portal, they do not have a lot of guys that are sitting out this game, even though they're in the transfer portal. I think they want to send out Bronco Mendenhall with a win. I think they're going to be fired up for it. Uh, looks like we could possibly have some snow in the forecast. So these two high-powered passing option, or uh, offenses – uh, may not be as efficient as usual, but this is a fun, fun quarterback battle between Tanner Mordecai and Brennan Armstrong, and I, I expect Virginia to be able to come out on top here. Win one last one for Bronco, I think. So I'll, I'll take Virginia to cover the two and a half. 100%. Uh, I'm shocked that this line is as small as it is. I, I, I really am. I I find it strange. I don't see. SMU was a really good team at one point in time this season. They kind of fell apart. And I don't know how much that offense will be able to put up big points with Sonny being gone. He was the architect of it. So just because you coached under him and just because you played it for a year or two doesn't mean you still know how to solve problems when somebody throws you a curveball. You just you just don't know how to hit it because he was the one that solved all the problems. At some point in time in this game, problems are going to come up. Virginia's going to capitalize. They're not going to be able to, to, to counter and and I think Virginia wins this thing and sends Bronco out one last time. Yeah, SMU also uh, missing Reggie Roberson and uh, and Gray. I believe uh, they're first and fourth leading wide receivers. So that's that's a pretty big issue right there. The gifts on this one, by the way, gift suite, Bo Sport wireless earbuds, LL Bean dope kit, whatever the hell that is. Personalized mini baseball with the player's name and jersey number. So. Interesting. We move from that one to the pin. A baseball with your name on it. Yes, a baseball with your name on it. Interesting. <laughs> Weird. Just the, the arrogance of these dumb bastards. Go ahead. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.